This year, Merrimack celebrated its 275th anniversary. And perhaps no other location in town illustrates that history better than Matthew Thornton Graveyard, which dates all the way back to the colonial era. To recognize that legacy, the New Hampshire Societies of the Sons of the American Revolution, the Daughters of the American Revolution, and the Children of the American Revolution organized a grave-marking and wreath-laying ceremony for Matthew Thornton. Committee co-chair Robert Walsh explained the significance of Matthew Thornton to the revolution. Matthew Thornton was elected a delegate from New Hampshire after the uh, independence had been voted on in July, and he arrived in Philadelphia in November and signed the uh, Declaration of Independence and was the last signer to do so. This November marks the 245th anniversary of Thornton signing the Declaration for New Hampshire, and the ceremony paid tribute to the era, with the Sons of the American Revolution Color Guard dressed in full Revolutionary War attire. After tributes to Thornton and his wife, Hannah Jack, at the monument bearing his name, there were wreath layings, and the Color Guard raised their muskets for a salute, bringing the spitting image of a Revolutionary War unit to life. Fire. New Hampshire's role in the Revolution was pivotal. We were the only colony or state that was not invaded by the British during the American Revolution. And uh, we supported the revolutionary cause uh, consistently when others were faltering during the Continental Congress. Thornton and his family are of course buried in this graveyard that shares his name. And as we look to the past this year, celebrating Merrimack's 275th birthday, it's fitting to pay tribute to one of its early residents. These gravestones serve as milestones, too, reminding us of where we've been and how far we've come. Thank you for watching.